uh, another big test this weekend. A uh, team that had coaches saying played some tough competition too, like y'all did. What's mm. uh, what's the feeling going into the weekend? I mean, just keep on pushing. So we're going through a little rough patch right now, but I mean, we're not worried about it. We're just taking it day day at a time, and we know every single team doesn't matter who they are that we play in the SEC is going to be a tough competition. So we're just taking every day like we can the exact same way. I know it's something we've talked about a lot this season, but the, the pace of play, the pitch clock, and everything like that. Is it something now halfway through the season? Do you do you even notice it anymore? Or? Uh, I mean, you always notice it because it's just different. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to take a while. You've played this game your whole entire life, and all of a sudden there's all these new rules. So, I mean, there's still adjustments being made. I mean, I know Chase Dolan in the first inning when we played Tennessee, I mean, he was struggling with it at the beginning. So, it's just – it's adjustments. It's, it's just the way the game flows now. And, I mean – it's taken a lot to get used to, but it's it's getting better. Game, games are shorter. I know you don't necessarily pay attention that much to the crowd, but have you yeah. noticed later in games, seats still? Yeah, seats, seats. Yeah, a bunch of seats still. Well, I mean, last year, I mean, y'all, sure, y'all all know. I mean, we played some five-hour games, some really long games, but sometimes that's what it takes. But with this new pitch clock and how everything's working, it's definitely been a lot faster, and fans definitely stay longer. I think y'all build more confidence knowing off of what you did last year, obviously, or kind of some of the, you know, re getting to tip of the iceberg recently, you know, scoring first inning every time Tennessee. Yeah. That, you know, you scoring the first after Texas took the lead. You think, like, I guess which one do you feel like gives y'all a sense that we're pretty close to being able to I mean, it's just like we're getting guys on base, like showed some greatness on the mound uh, against Texas. It's just we have to, when, when we're hitting good, Got to be able to throw on the mound. When we're throwing good, got to be able to string runs together. It's just getting that to click and all mesh together took a while last year, and it's just taking a little bit this year. I mean, every team goes through it, and it's just happening to us right now. So that's all I can say. How much uh, – I know you look at Ole Miss's story last year, good on top, missed uh, – had, had some skid and then went and won, won it all. How much of that can – be relatable to what y'all are trying to do? Well, it's just relatable to anybody that baseball is a crazy game. I mean, it really is. And I don't know another sport like it where just anything can happen at any point in time to any player, to any team. I mean, it's just everything's up in the air until the final team is standing. What, uh, what are some of the things that, I guess, their pitching staff presents a challenge and what you can ever see? Like? Man, they just, man, it's like FC. SEC pitching, I mean, it's a gauntlet every single time you go out there and you're going to see guys filling up the zone with great off speed, great fastballs. I mean, it's the same every single week. And we just got to have a good approach that Early and Slosh are going to give us and we're just going to go out there and do our thing. What kind of conversations are there in the locker room and the dugout during this kind of rough patch? I mean, just, just keep your head up. I mean, there's, I mean, we're just having some tough luck, not being able to get certain things happen to go our way and string certain things together. I mean, keep your head up. I mean, we've been through this. I mean, everybody has been through some type of adversity like this, and it's just something we have to get through and keep pushing through as a team. The main thing is just staying together and just not c blaming others or blaming this, blaming that, just staying together as one unit to string together a winning streak. Did you draw any similarities to last season, dropping two of y'all's first three SEC series? Uh, yeah, I mean, you you know, try not to look at last year, but it definitely helps knowing that what we've came from. So yeah, that, I would say that helps a little bit. I know you're locked into your series, but you know, we're talking about opening day, big leagues. Uh, does that give you kind of a chance to? maybe reset mentally too, just kind of like midway through the season? Yeah, I mean, opening day is always an exciting time, but in the whole United States, the whole, whole world, everybody's uh, ready for this day. So, I mean, I don't know if it really resets ours because we have our season to think about, but, I mean, it's really, it is a cool day. Any, any team uh, Always the Strohs. I'm a Strohs fan for sure. So it's big. They won it last year. So let's just keep on pushing on. You got any buddies? Uh, in the, in the show right now? Uh, not in the show, but a bunch of minor league guys. A bunch of minor league guys. So, not quite in the show yet. Cool. There you go, no. guys. Good. 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 Appreciate you. Thank you. Very good.